creating the right mood and atmosphere on stage is one of the responsibilities of the lighting designer. But a good lighting design will also have achieved the following objectives. Visibility, you need to be able to see what's happening. We need to be able to sculpt the stage and give it a three-dimensionality. It should convey the mood of the scene and also information, time of day, location, are they indoors or outdoors? But most importantly, it should always be a pretty picture to look at. Light affects us all. If you get out of bed in the morning and it's a bright sunny day outside, you feel different than if it's all dark and gloomy. Playwrights use light to help create mood and drama. Lighting designers use colour to help create mood. Something as simple as just changing a colour can have quite a dramatic impact on the mood on stage. Let's start with some white light. Now if we add in some warm ambers, you can see we create a cosy afternoon feel. And now if we crossfade to the cooler blue tones, we create a nighttime feel. To create the right mood on stage, we need to take our cue from what the actors are doing. If the scene is a happy one, it would be a mistake to choose cold, harsh colours. And likewise, if the mood was a sombre one, bright, happy colours would be equally as wrong. Take a look at these scenes, lit with the appropriate colours. We can also use more saturated colours, because we all have predefined responses to certain colours. For example, red is often associated with anger and aggression. And depending on the shade of blue that we use, we can either create a romantic moonlight or a cold and lonely one. If you do decide to use more saturated colours, it's a good idea to use backlight for this. It will add colour to your scene without having a huge impact on the quality of light on the actors' faces. Let's take a look at the set for Annie. Simply by changing the colour of the key light through the windows, we radically change the mood and feel on stage. We start with white light, then we add a pale blue, then we change to a more saturated blue, a pale amber, and then a more saturated amber, each time changing the mood that we create on stage. Now if we choose two colours that are slightly more abstract, we can create a more sinister mood on stage. Here we've used 728 through the window and 765 as a top light. Let's take a look at another example. Here's the set for Canterbury Tales. In this first example, we create a nice golden feel using 550. Let's look at the same set, lit using a cooler palette. Here we're using 728, 197 and 201. Now let's create a nighttime feel. For this we use darker blues and some light through the windows. More often than not, it's a combination of both the angle we use as well as our choice of colour. By changing the angle of the light, we can help to tell the audience what time of day it is. In this example, we create a sense of a sunrise by using a pale yellow and changing the angle accordingly. Now, if we use a more unnatural colour and we change the angle again, we're able to create a much more sinister atmosphere. Try to remember that the best lighting often goes unnoticed. It should be there to support the performers and help to tell the story. It should never draw attention to itself unless it's for a special effect.